everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Taha Vibelema. Like I said before, this is the second part of a three parts full body measurement. It, I, would have, I would have to divide it into three parts. So first of all, it's not just about knowing the measurements, you need to know how to apply the measurements because you could take full, you could take the measurements, but then the next thing is how do you use it when you want to cut your pattern or on your fabric. You need to have those ideas. So today I'll be doing just bodies that's top and skirt then next um, tutorial i'll be doing the dress trousers and sleeve which because that shouldn't take long also so i will just adjust the camera and then we can proceed okay. so what we're doing today is just the top and the skirt measurements application so for the so let's say if we use a diagram So this is your shoulder, this is your across chest, across chest, across back, this is your bust, this is your, let's say, round under bust, like I said, depending on the style, this is your waist. Then from here we have the bust points from this same place, this second place, under bust points. Then from here also, if you're going straight down, straight down to this place, it's our body's front. Then of course, if it's the back, you have the body's front, body's back. So that's what you're going to do. Then for the wear skirt, waist, hip, and of course, the length. Okay, for the top, the waist, from here, to here, that's the length. So these are the measurements you'll be needing. So now, when we're talking about application, now if we know that when you want to cut an outfit, most of the time, the outfit is cut on fold. On fold. Now, when it's folded down the middle, like this, this is a full fabric. When you fold it like this, you, let's say you want to cut the top. Now, it's not just the front that is folded, but the back also. So, let's say you want to apply these measurements to this one. You go like this, it's cut on fold. You will now have something like this. The pattern will look something like this. This is your across chest. This is your shoulder, this is the neck, 3 inches, this is your shoulder, 4 inches, this is your across chest, this is your bust point, this is your waist, bust point, this is your waist, and this is your hip, so that is the way it's assumed. So now this is your center front. Now, when you since it's folded down the middle, it now means you have four panels. Or yes, four panels. Even if it's two pieces, it's folded down the center front. So you have for the front, you have two parts. The back you have two parts. Meaning in all you have four parts. So now to apply the measurements when you're cutting an outfit let's say this go inside you measure two inches like i told you for adult necklines it's usually six inches so remember if it's unfold like this it means that it's into two so you have to divide the six you divide by two you measure three inches three by three three horizontally three vertically three inches three inches you get your neckline then from this straight line 
because this line is supposed to be straight. You measure one inch down, so it will be slanting. You know, this is what gives the outfit a better. Size. So you take from here to here, you measure down one inches. The shoulder measurements you take um, as it is, like when we took Cynthia's on her shoulder was three and a half. So you just measure from here, you measure three and a half inches down. The line, this one inch, when you measure one, it should be like this. So you measure from here down to meet this one inch line, three and a half. Then from here, your bust point, let's say your bust point is 9 inches. You add half inch from here to here. You make, use your tape. Oh, in Nigeria, we use inches. We use imperial measurement, which is the inches. So when you're measuring, until you're measuring, when you want to sew, you use the big side of your tape. So you measure from here to here. If is, remember we are just doing a mini diagram. This is not a full adult measurement, obviously. So you measure from the shoulder down. You get if the bust point based on the measurement you've taken is nine then you add half inches which is for sewing because you're going to sew here so you get this point you draw your straight ruler your straight line this is for your bust point then from here your body's front if you need to put on that bust depend like i always say on that bust is dependent on the style so you also take from here but like I told you, for a standard body posture, the distance between the under bust and the bust point is usually 3 inches. So you can either do that or you can do that. Let's just do that with dotted lines. Then you measure. If the body's front, that's like some tailors would call it half length, is 15. You add half inch, gives, giving you from here, you measure from here, from this shoulder point, you measure 15 add a half inch you get your 15 mark like i told you for your 15 and a half mark you draw a straight line now if the top is going to go down a lot then you also need to get your hip level this is the bust point level this is the waist level so the next thing you need is your hip level from which so the hip level though that is supposed to be for the skirt but i'll just tell you how you place it because it's basically the same thing let's say for example if the waist the hip me uh, measurement is 30 let's use 36 then you just have to divide it by four remember the fold in front and four parts i told you about you divide it by four it's a standard let me so to speak you divide it by four and then that's for basic block and then you do let's say 36 divided by 4 will give you 9 inches now from that 9 inches you minus 1 36 divided by 4 minus 1 and it will give you 8 so it means that the distance from the waist to the hip is going to be you measure that from here to here use your tape and you measure you get 8 inches that is where you're going to put your sorry i made my ruler sorry guys 8 inches that is where you are going to put your hip measurement now when you've gotten all these ones all you need to do you come you say okay so what is your bust measurement let's say if the bust is 30 you measure you do 30 divided by 4 so another thing you also need to learn is how to master your tape now when you look at the tape remember like i told you the standard is four it means that every um number is a multiple of four let's say for example if the waist is 28 inches if you want to act like a layman like i used to tell some people that have a little challenge with calculation that maybe you should get your figures like a layman you just take this is 28 now if the waist, waist is 28 or let's use 20 okay 28 you need to all you just need to do you fold the tape into two first of all when you've folded 28 into two you get 14. now you take your 14 again you fold the 14 into another two that gives you seven 
But if you want to do okay 28 divided by 4 you could do this one that's two and you could fold it again it divided by two and you fold it that gives you seven inches is into four so that is what you do so that tells you that every measurement is a multiple of four so for example seven times four is 28 so if the waist is 28 you divide it by four you get this so the next number the number before 28 is 24 so you do 28 divided by 4 you get 6. now if you look very closely at the tape this inside of this place between 6 and 7 is divided into four parts with the middle part having the more most prominent line which is this one here which makes it half so these other ones if you see these other two lines they are the second prominent lines these two then the other four lines are the shortest lines now it means that each of this prominent line is a quarter this 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 is a quarter so if this is 24 it means this place is 25 this is 26 three quarter is 27 and this is 28 now let's carry out a test like I told you, this is 24, 25, 26. So let's say if the waist was 26 divided by 4. We have 26 here. Divided by 4. What you're going to get is this is 6. This is 6 and a half. So those are some little things that can be confusing that some people need to, you just need to have a grasp of. But one thing I always tell when you're doing, coming across something for the first time, you don't need to get yourself worked up because as you use it continuously, you begin to master it. So you come here, if the bust is 32, you do 32 divided by 4. That will give you 8 inches. So you measure, mark your, with your tape. You measure your eight inches from this center front to here you measure your eight inches to the waist to the waist maybe 25 26 27 you divide it by four also let's say if it's 26 like we mentioned before is six and a half you place your tape on the six and a half then you put no okay let's say let's just focus on how you're going to apply it you get your eight inches you mark it then you come here six and a half you mark it that is your how you apply it you divide by four four there your under boss also if you need to depending on the style if you need it here also you divide by four the hip you come down to the hip also you divide by four inches whatever measurement you get you place it so that is where you are going to be joining all these things together then you also need to Put your arm home. But I'm not doing the main block, so I'm not going to start telling you so you don't have so much. You have to learn this in the or you just need to apply your measurements. Now for the across chest, which is this, the across chest might be 12, 13, 14. The across chest you divide by two. For the across chest, you've seen the across chest and the across back, you divide by two. Then your body's front, your body's front is like I told you from here down to your waist. So that's how you apply the measurements for the bodies. Now for the skirt, all you need to do, this is our waist. No. The waist measurement for the skirt, it could be low waist, it could be natural waist or high waist. You divide it by four. The hip, like I told you with the bodies, to get the hip level, that's the distance from the waist to the hip. You do the hip measurement, divided by four minus one that is where you put your hip measurement but for you to now get the normal that's where you put your hip level but the hip measurement like i told you guys is divided by four also 
so that is all you need to remember it's cut on four that's why i'm using this place as the center front center front also so that is all you need to know about applying the measurements for the bodies the, for the top and for the skirt this is how to apply them in case you have anything that if you're confused with anything remember to leave your questions and your comments in the comment section and i will go through them later and answer your questions but another thing you have to bear in mind is that this is the first time you might be coming across that's for those that have no experience whatsoever with sewing this is the first time you might be coming across something like this so i will say don't work yourself out to grab everything and i'm sure if you have to watch this video several times then take your time to understand it or even practice then that's when you now be able to grasp everything i'm talking about but one thing you have to bear in mind that the more you use them the more you apply these things like when you're cutting when we're doing other designs or trying to sew other things that's when you will now be getting the hang of it all so with that we'll come to the end of this particular this part of this um, full application of full body measurements so do not have any questions so in case you found any value in this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe please subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments or suggestions if they are very welcome please leave them in the comment section so until next video take care of yourself bye